So I'm looking at the regular one, not the experiment, even though it was kind of neat. Uh, I think the camera at the end and the head moves were a bit too much. You got a bit too... Because you're so close to the camera that like it's a bit disorienting with how much the head is moving. But in this case, um, <clears throat> there are only little things that I would change. Um, I'm sorry I haven't gotten to the Maya file yet. We got a um, crazy amount of work to do at work. Which I know is not an excuse, but unfortunately I haven't had the time. Um, so the only thing I would do <clears throat> during the thing I was scrolling as this arm goes over here, I would just take this orientation of the wrist and bring that wrist over just a little bit. So as this goes over there, the wrist turns over a bit this way. And you can see this here. You can see how this part of the elbow goes to the left, <clears throat> but then the orientation of the wrist is the same. So that will go to the right. And then that part feels a bit unmotivated. It's a bit too much. Just that, yep. that rotation in the wrist, I actually not do anything like ever so slightly here. So maybe like a third of what you did. And then here, the same thing. As this goes over, you can see how much this part is going to the left. So this part would go this way, kind of clockwise, or screen right. And then that move over, that feels like a bit too much of a translate. Any honor, do you? To the left. And then it suddenly goes down. So uh, it feels like if you look at this part here, it suddenly goes like this. So I wouldn't go as far to the left and went like, you know, like a third again, just only a third, and then round it out into that curve. Um, <clears throat> so it doesn't just suddenly go down here. That's on the... Do you? You coward! Technical part there, so the rest is great. You coward! And all I would do here is bring that geometry up a little bit so that basically let me expand this if I can you would have you know the white right the white from the eyeballs so you want you want a little bit of white above the pupil just a tad You know, imagine this was a white and you had just a little bit of the white in there it would give it you know the more white you have above above the pupil and the geometry there the crazier he looks not that I want him to look like a madman but just you know ever so slightly a white part so he's, there's a bit more intensity <clears throat> and that's kind of how we end the shot and that's it it's really great so I, I don't even think I mean I will try again we're Crazy would work. I will try to get back in there uh, and use your Maya file. But um, if those notes make sense, I mean that's all you would have to do, and you're done. It's really, really cool. I really like uh, how far you've taken this piece. Definitely, you're to me, you're the opening of your reel. All right. So let me know if this makes sense or not. Um, and that's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.